This is the question of 2017, May June, paper 21, and the question number is 4. In number A, it is asked, state the conditions required for the formation of stationary waves. So the main condition that uh, uh, we require here is, uh, first, uh, the first condition will be that the wave should be traveling in opposite direction, opposite directions opposite directions the first feature and the second is that uh, they should have same frequency and wavelength same frequency and wavelength frequency and wavelength wavelength and they should be of same type that is if it is a waves on water it should be wave on water you can have uh, uh, radio waves of the same wavelength so that's why the wave should be of same type. So I can write here as same type of waves. Same type of waves. Waves. Now in number B, one end of a string is attached to a vibrator as shown here. The string is like this, this is a vibrator. The string is stretched by passing the other end over a pulley, pulley and attaching a load as illustrated here. The frequency of vibration of the vibrator is adjusted to 250 Hz, which is the value of F. And a transverse wave travels along the string with a speed of V meter, uh, 12 meter per second. This is V, this is F, and this is V. The wave is reflected at the pulley, at the pulley, and a stationary wave is formed, formed on the string. So this is the uh, wave formed here. So point E is over here and point B is over here. So it is at a certain time T equal to T1. So at uh, t this time, at this time the string has max displacement. So this figure shows their status when the displacement is maximum. So we have to fi find, calculate the distance AB. So we have to find this from here to here or I can say from here to here. So at that time, what is right now happening here is from here to here, the distance is equal to lambda or the wavelength and from here to here it is half of the wavelength so ab is equal to ab is equal to actually lambda plus lambda by 2 and that's equal to 3 lambda by 2 now the qualities that we are given to we are given are frequency and velocity so what we have is frequency is equal to velocity by lambda uh, velocity by lambda so which means that lambda is equal to velocity by frequency and that's equal to velocity is uh, 12 and frequency is 250 so therefore therefore AB is equal to equal to 3 by 2 into lambda that means it is 12 by 250 so this distance will come to be so if I use uh, the calculator app here from the mobile of course which is very easy so the equation the the value will be the value of a b will be a b will be i made a mistake here mistakes happen so it is uh, uh, 3 into 12 divided 2 into 250 is 500 500 so it's equal to 0. 0. 0.072 meters which means the distance is simply 7.2 centimeter now <coughs> now uh, the other question says that on figure 4.2 that is on the same figure here same figure here we have to show sketch the position of the string between a and b uh, a and b at times t equal to t1 plus 2 millisecond in the first and the second it is uh, at time t1 equal to 5.0 millisecond so 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 what it says uh, us is we have to draw the wave we have to draw the wave at a certain um, uh, draw the wave at times t1 equal to 2 millisecond and t1 e t equal to uh, t1 plus 5 millisecond so let's first realize that since the frequency is equal to 250 hertz the time period should be equal to I can do the calculations here the time period is equal to 1 by f that's equal to 
1 by 250 and this comes to be equal to this comes to be equal to 250 uh, reciprocal equal to 0 .0 0.0 0.004 seconds and since we have to do this in terms of milliseconds it's equal to 4 millisecond so the time period is equal to 4 millisecond so that means that means since this is a stationary wave so what happens now is when the particle here comes to this position and to this position it is taking 4 millisecond time let me repeat that once again when the particles particle starts from here comes up to here and again it returns back here it will be taking 4 millisecond of time because the time period is this much that means this 2 millisecond is half of that time 2 millisecond is half of that time so 2 millisecond is equal to 1 by 2 into 4 millisecond equal to 1 by 2 into t so that means at that time this thing will be traveling so from here to here is 4 millisecond so in 2 millisecond it will be traveling from here to here only so in 2 milliseconds it will be traveling from here to here only so that means the wave will now become somewhat like this so let me draw the reverse point here of this thing of this its reverse is somewhere uh, here and its reverse is somewhere 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 here so the wave will be somewhat like this somewhat like this it will go like this like this like this like this from here so let me draw the center first let me draw the mean point of this wave so that things become easier so from here it goes like this like this and from here it comes like this and like this and then like this so this is the position of the wave at the time t equal to 2 millisecond which is half of the time period so I am naming this line as line P <coughs> and the other is we have to find its position at time t1 equal to 5 millisecond so 5 millisecond means that it passes from here to here and here 4 millisecond and 5 millisecond means one more millisecond one more millisecond after 4 so from here to here and here 4 millisecond and now we have to find where it reaches in the another 1 millisecond as we have already done here from here to here 2 millisecond so from here to here it will be requiring that 1 millisecond that is in 1 millisecond it will be going from here to here so that's why at this time at this 5 millisecond time the position of the string or the uh, rope whatever it may be will be exactly like this exactly at the mean point without any bending without any bending so position should be like this so this is this this line should be labeled as line q so this is the these are the positions of the uh, particles or the string at uh, the given times here now what we can know from here is if it says uh, uh, time t equal to t1 plus uh, 9 millisecond also the answer will be same because 9 millisecond means 8 plus 1 so at 8 millisecond its position will be same as the start uh, and uh, in that extra 1 millisecond the position will be exactly like this so this can be the answer to several other uh, timing questions not exactly 5 or 6 or se 7 so for several other times also this figure could be the answer